any person with a brain would say you want to have the puck more than you don't. So Randy's, Randy's comments are 100% true. We'd like to have it more often. We'd like to have, like to have more shots on net. We'd like to possess, possess the puck more than we do right now. But the Corsi stat doesn't mean anything. If we have the puck all the time and our goalie can't stop it, we lose the game. So a puck possession alone doesn't mean anything. Do you want to have it more than the other team? Of course you do. Um, I think that, that uh, the stats that certain people come up with are, are made for the media and for the fans, and they're somewhat interesting. We've had people come present stuff to us on a regular basis. The graphs look pretty. Um, there's some really neat pictures that come out of it, and some stuff you look at and say that's interesting. It doesn't help you build a team. It doesn't help you win hockey games. Um, the, again, the simple thing about possession is you want to have the puck more than the other team. It doesn't dictate who's going to win. Uh, if you go back four, maybe four years ago, uh, if you guys would recall, we were out shooting teams regularly, and sometimes we were putting like 50 bucks on the net, and we couldn't win a hockey game. So it, it didn't it didn't mean anything. It didn't mean that we were a, a better overall team. It just meant that we could put pucks on the net and we had the puck a lot. So. I'm not saying I wouldn't dismiss all the stats. I wouldn't say analytics are useless. I think there's something out there at some point that will help us, but I haven't seen it yet. And I think Corsi and Fenwick are they're just interesting, and that's that's really all they are. My uh, dad used to say that figures don't lie, but liars can figure. <laughs>